Hey crafters, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be for the beginner crafters out there. We are going to be making two mesh wreaths using deco mesh and burlap mesh. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's make having fun affordable. So the first part of this project, we are going to use this deco mesh roll and I got this from Michaels and basically you're going to roll your mesh out to just over 12 inches. I feel like to get a very fluffy wreath you really need at minimum 12 inches so I always go a little over just in case I don't like how big it is but I don't want it too big like 20 inches. Once you have this section cut, you're going to take the short end, which would be the 10 inch end, and you're going to fold down about an inch to get yourself started. And you're going to just pinch the middle and basically scrunch it up in the middle and pull down the top end of the fabric. And then once you get to the last inch, you're just gonna fold that last inch in uh, just so you don't see the unfinished edges and then that's your first ruffle. And I always like to shape it a little bit before I add my half chenille stem. And once you put that on, you twist it in the back three times and then you can adhere it to your wreath form by placing it on top of two of the inner rings or outer rings, whichever you prefer. And then when you flip it over to the back, you're going to twist again about two or three times and that secures it to the form. So you're going to repeat this step as many times as you need to to fill your whole wreath form. So next, if you are working with multiple colors, you're going to want to choose one of your colors as your anchor color and I call it an anchor color because that's the color that you're going to put on the crossbar so I took a full chenille stem the whole 12 inch stem and I wove it through the crossbar making sure that it would stay secure and I basically did the same twisting but this time I'm putting the chenille stem on the wire form before adding the mesh. So this section is also going to be the section that you're going to use to secure your ribbon. So that's why you want it secured down to an anchor point. So with the ribbon, I am measuring out about 10 inches, 10 or 11 inches, and I'm just folding it over. It's just a quicker way to cut ribbon and faster and basically folding the ribbon over itself so that way I can just snip the folded ends and it's just a quicker way. If you want to just keep measuring out 10 inches that's fine but I just do it this way because I feel like it saves time. And then once I cut the ribbon from the base I'm going to go ahead and cut the folded ends so that way I have about five or six ribbon pieces that are 10 inches long. And then you flip it over and do it to the other side. So once you have your two sets of ribbon, you're going to want to put each color on top of each other and then fold and cut a dovetail cut on the ribbon. So that kind of gives it that V shape that, you know, just makes it look better. <laughs> um, and then you're going to cross your two sets of ribbon and pinch it in the middle. I like to use my finger as a guide to make my bow and then I kind of fan it out and we're going to find one of the white sections or anchor sections that I showed you earlier and you're just going to put that ribbon set on top of that anchor section and twist several times 
and you're pretty much done unless you want to add something else which I'm going to show you next. So next as a final touch I added these jingle bells that I got at the Dollar Tree and just slid them on the end of the chenille stem, twisted around a couple times and then folded the remaining part of the stem around the back. So once I flip this over you'll see that I just twisted the ends of the chenille stems and then you're just going to twist this all the way down and kind of tuck it in so it doesn't ruin your door um, because it can scratch and poke at your door and then once you do that to all your end pieces you have your wreath. Now for our next wreath, we are using this candy cane wreath form from the Dollar Tree. And I am using this burlap mesh. It's not the deco mesh, so it's not made of, um, it's not a poly mesh. It's not made of plastics. It's actual burlap material. And basically what I'm doing is securing one end of the burlap to the bottom corner of the candy cane. And on this one, you can use any color chenille stem for this. And I'm just kind of fluffing it out so it's about two fingers high on the ruffle. And then I'm pushing it down to that end, holding it there, and then going to the next section and fluffing that out two fingers high. And then pushing that down and just continuing on until I have the three sections Filled. And then once I get to the end right here, I'm going to take another chenille stem and secure that section to the wire by basically going over the mesh, or sorry, the burlap piece and then twisting it in the back. And then you just start from the end that you're on and work your way the other way. So by pulling again and doing the two fingers and then pulling it through the section again and then doing the two fingers for your measurement. So once you have that done, you're gonna continue that around the candy cane until you have each section having two sets of ruffles. And so this is the look of all the candy cane filled with ruffles. And now I'm going to go in with my flannel buffalo check ribbon, which is about, I think, three and a half inches wide. And I'm just folding it so only the flannel side is showing. And I'm folding it in half and then basically just kind of loosely weaving it through my burlap sections, making it look like the stripes on a candy cane. So you're just going to go around. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. I just thought this was an easier way to secure it without basically using too much material because um, I was also running out of chenille stems. So I figured just wrapping it, making it look like a candy cane, but kind of like a farmhouse candy cane is what I was going for. And once you get to the end, I was actually running out of ribbon. So I think I ended up I had enough ribbon. Or no, I had just enough ribbon. So I just basically took the rest of it off the roll. And then once I got to the end, I again secured the ribbon to the corner with a chenille stem. And I think I used half of a chenille stem because the material wasn't that thick. And then once you do secure the last section to the form, you're just going to want to flip over your can cane and look at the back and make sure, just like we did with the first wreath, you want to make sure that all your stem ends are twisted and folded in so they don't scratch your door or your wall or whatever surface you are hanging your wreath on. And then you're pretty much done. 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed the two projects that I had for you tonight and I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys again. Bye. <laughs>